What's going on, Jerome's? So I just got this awesome new Vikings. I, I don't know what you call it, like uh, quarter zip. Uh, it's like it's awesome, long sleeve, lightweight, and it, it's beautiful, man. And I was really excited about it. But the first thing I hear uh, as I'm showing it off to the wife is like, that's a nice shirt. Does it come in men's? She says, I, I look like uh, like one of the female officers from Star Trek Voyager, which is such a deep cut reference that I don't even know if I'm supposed to be insulted or impressed. It's like she doesn't even watch Star Trek. Anyway, that's the support I get around here. Mm. Uh, but hey, I think it's an awesome shirt. So uh, to hell with everyone else. But uh, Najee Thompson, smooth segue, uh, showed that he was him, the pride of Georgia State, UDFA coming in and you know listed at cornerback, but actually never played a single uh, defensive down, but is a special teams ace and is one of Matt Daniels favorite new players. And he showed that he, uh, he is uh, certainly uh, capable and deserves a roster spot on the 53. Uh, and even though he missed the final preseason game uh, due to uh, being in concussion protocol, he showed up and showed up, made some big time special teams play against Seattle and Tennessee, and I thought that he did have a really good shot to roster this year. I didn't even think that was too much of a hot take, but enter. So th this time of year, uh, it, it gets really tough because there's a ton of information coming in, and you know sometimes uh, sources are right, sometimes sources are wrong. But uh, Doogie, as well as a bunch of other national people, uh, reported that Najee Thompson had been waived and earlier uh, in the day, and it was just like, ah. Pouring one out, the Vikings screwed up. I mean, Najee Thompson would have certainly contributed on a game day, but it was like, okay, maybe practice squad elevations, and then eventually he's on the 53. But, aha, uh, he, uh, uh, everyone wrote Najee Thompson off, but he didn't write back. He pulled a full Undertaker on this B. Uh, Dern Do Doogie Wolfson, go. A uh, fluid day and information being relayed fast. Uh, longer story for later time on this, but a, a quick clear up. Najee Thompson not waived. He's impressed many here. Hashtag Vikings. Uh, Tom Pellicero, NFL Network also uh, clearing up some miscommunication. Uh, the Vikings have not waived cornerback Najee Thompson. The impressive uh, undrafted rookie from Georgia Southern remains on the roster. Now, this could be a lot of things. Like Maybe the Vikings initially decided to waive uh, Najee, and then maybe they changed their mind, and maybe the source re uh, just reported that first part uh, or relayed that first part. Or, I mean, it, it happens, man. Like Sometimes you fat finger something or fat thumb something. That's what she said. And it's just like, oh, the, waved, not waved. Waved, not waved. Th that old deal. But either way, uh, it does seem for now, uh, unless uh, the team changes its mind again, Najee Thompson is going to be in the fold. And he's been impressive, man. And, you know, the fact that Kevin O'Connell made him a priority, uh, Coach Hat, Matt Daniels, is absolutely in love with this kid. And the fact that he, uh, at Georgia Southern, he dedicated himself to special teams. And uh, the conventional wisdom is that for special teams, especially in preseason training camp, you, you take late round draft picks, you take UDFAs and just jam them on special teams. Now, so, most of these guys were from colleges where they're the big man on campus. You're the, the best or second best uh, player at their position on the team, and maybe they haven't played special teams in years. Maybe they haven't played special teams since freaking high school, right? And there is a little bit of an ego thing there. Like, even if you came in as a UDFA or a late round pick, I mean, this is still the NFL, and you're like, I, I was a star cornerback, linebacker, receiver, running back, tight end uh, on my college team, and now they got me playing teams? Mm -mm. Yeah, but special teams, it's a third of the game. And it, just because you're a really good cornerback or you know, wh whatever, a really good collegiate cornerback, doesn't mean that you can cut the mustard as an NFL punt gunner or covering NFL kicks or anything like that. So the fact that Najee Thompson – specialized in special teams over the last handful of years at Georgia Southern because he saw that that was his ticket to the NFL. I think it's beautiful. I think it's a great story, man. I'm glad that he's on this team. Also, I think it's a path that a lot of players should and could emulate where – Say they're the you know the fifth wide receiver on the team or fourth tight end or sixth linebacker or sixth cornerback uh, instead of just like champing at the bit trying to find uh, some time uh, on defense or offense just like hey go to your special teams quarter and be like hey what can I do to completely envelop myself in special teams what can I do to specialize in being a punt gunner or covering kicks or uh, being a, a part of the kick return not necessarily the returner but being part uh, of the uh, of the uh, logistics of the return or punt return same thing as well so 
I, I think that you're going to see more and more players specializing in third phase because they know that that's a really good way to get onto an NFL roster. Where I mean, you've had that experience, you know, as a kick returner, punt returner, uh, or on coverage. Whereas uh, some other guys have just been trying to learn it. And just because, like we said, just because you're a solid corner uh, cornerback in college or a tight end or whatever, doesn't mean you're automatically going to be a good special teamer. So uh, I love that Najee Thompson is in the fold. And as right now, uh, with the reports that the Vikings have waived Jawan Williams, it does look like the Vikings are going to keep you know six cornerbacks uh, in the room with Murph, uh, Caleb Evans, uh, Makai Blackman as your top three. Jalen Williams, the UDFA from Indiana, still hasn't gotten that call reportedly. That could change. Uh, Boo Jr. looks like he's made it last year's second round pick. And then Najee, who's more of a special teamer. Now, you know, the Vikings certainly could and should add to the cornerback room if they see talent there. Uh, but or, uh, remains we see seen right now. But it, uh, right now, it does look like Najee Thompson is going to make this team. He deserves it. He's a fantastic story, and I can't wait to see him show up and show out uh, on Sundays, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts on Najee Thompson. Initially reported that he was waived, but uh, not, not so much. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But next time, Skull Production Value.